Okay, hello everyone. So in this video lecture, we are going to talk about uh, characteristics of a chemical reaction. Okay, that means some chemical reactions are characterized by some changes. Or when a chemical reaction takes place, various types of changes can be observed in that uh, chemical reaction. That means we can uh, observe that uh, the, the state of a substance is getting changed after a chemical reaction, or color of a substance is getting changed, or we can say the energy of a substance or temperature is changing with the chemical reaction is proceeding in forward direction. Or we also can say that sometimes what happens that during the form during the chemical reaction we get uh, some substance which are insoluble in that uh, aqueous solution in which the chemical reaction is taking place that means we are getting the ppt formation precipitate formation okay so e these types of changes can be observed in a chemical reaction okay and by observing these chemical changes or by observing this type of changes that means change in state or change in temperature formation of gases we can identify a particular process that it is a pro that that the particular process is a chemical reaction okay so that's why i have, that's why I have written here that uh, to identify a chemical reaction okay that means this these changes can be used to identify a chemical uh, identify a process that it is a chemical process okay or chemical reaction okay so our first change which can be observed easily in a chemical reaction or generally we can observe in a chemical reaction and that change in the change in the state of a substance change in the state okay Okay, so I will take here a simple example which I had uh, uh, told you in our video of chemical change versus physical change. That means the burning of wax. We have wax that is the material of a, uh, that is the material by which a candle is made up of. When it burns, when we burn the wax, what we get? We get water vapor. Water vapor. It is a gaseous form of water, and we get carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide gas again it is a gas gaseous form and we get heat, heat energy and light energy light energy okay so here it is our reactant it is in a solid form okay since burning of a wax it is a chemical reaction or chemical change because we are getting the new products or new substances which have the properties uh, completely different than the initial substance or our reactant and the melting of wax melting of wax it is a physical change because we get the um, we get the what we get wax in liquid state liquid state when the wax is uh, melted or wax is burnt okay so our point will our focus will be in this one that is burning of wax okay so i will drop this one okay so here we are getting the product two gases okay we have in in case of reactant we have a solid substance and after the reaction is being completed we are getting the products in gaseous form that means what i can say i can say that our state of a substance is getting change that means change in state is occurring here okay so when chemical reactions are uh, are taken place in nature or uh, generally we can observe in nature we can observe the change in the state of a substance that is the state of a substance is getting changed after a chemical reaction or from reactants to products we are initially started with some another state of a substance and after the chemical reaction we are getting the product or a substance in another state okay so i have another example the like when ammonia gas and is three gas it is ammonia g indicates that it is in gaseous form it is reacted with hcl gas again it is in gaseous state what we get we get ammonium chloride nh4 cl and this is in solid state we get solid product so we are initially starting with two gases when they combine or when they react with each other we get the product as solid in solid form okay what we get we get the solid substances solid product and initially we have gaseous reactant gaseous reactant that means after a chemical reaction the state of a substance is getting changed it is converted into solid state okay so generally we can observe this type of changes in that is the change in state of a substance during chemical reaction okay so let's uh, proceed forward okay so second change which we can observe is change in color change in color okay okay sometimes what happens that uh, initially or in in reactant the reactant has uh, some different color and after the chemical reaction is being done or the new substances are formed 
the new substances which are formed after the chemical reaction that is our product it has some different color let me take an example of uh, copper sulfate it reacts with iron and it gives iron sulfate feso4 and copper okay this is in aqueous solution form and it has a blue color blue color that is blue solution blue solution and again it is in solid state fe and when these are reacted with one another we get feso4 that is our green color aqueous solution green solution of ferrous sulfate solution and this is solid state okay solid deposit so what is observing here we are that means from reactant to product we are watching that initially in case of reactant we have blue solution after the chemical reaction we are getting the solution in green color that means our color of substance is getting changed that means change in color is occurring here okay so we can say that uh, sometime what happens that in a chemical reaction we can say that uh, our color of our substances are getting changed after the chemical reaction it we are getting different color of substance okay so i have another example like pb no3 whole twice this is lead nitrate and it is a solid crystalline form it is in solid crystalline form crystalline form okay and it has color white it is white in color and when we when we heat this one we heat this this triangle sign that is our delta it indicates that the heat is given to the reactant what it happens it breaks up into lead oxide pbo and no2 gas and o2 gas this is our gaseous state and again this is in nitrogen dioxide that means gaseous state and it is reddish brown in color reddish brown in color and lead oxide is our yellow pale yellow pale yellow solid substance solid substance solid substance okay so here our point our main focus will be that in case of reactant we have a white crystal so white solid substance and after the chemical reaction we are getting the lead oxide as yellow color substance that means our color color of substance is getting changed from a from reactant side to product side that is in a chemical reaction we can observe the change in color or we can say by watching these changes in color we can say we can identify or we can identify a process that is this process is a chemical reaction that uh, that's why i have written here to identify a chemical reaction that means by watching these changes we can observe or we can uh, specify a chem particular chemical process to be a chemical reaction okay so our uh, next uh, change will be okay okay so our next change will be third that means our change in energy okay 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 so in this change i would like to tell you that uh, there are some chemical reactions when they proceed or they occurs in nature some chemical reaction what ha happens with some chemical reaction whenever they take place they, they require they need some amount of energy when they absorb some amount of energy then only that chemical reaction proceed or then only that chemical reaction happens or occurs and uh, sometimes what happens that to after the chemical reaction is being done that means from reactant to product we are getting product after the chemical reaction large amount of heat is being released in the surrounding so so what happens as a result as a result we are getting that the energy of a substance either is increasing or it is decreasing okay so i have here example of uh, a burning of coal i have an exa uh, i have the formula of coal that is carbon it reacts with o2 gas in atmosphere from atmosphere and what it gives it gives co2 gas and with this with the formation of co2 gas we get large amount of heat energy released heat energy released okay so when there is the release of or formation of heat energy in a particular chemical reaction we call that reaction to be exothermic reaction okay so here let we have the energy of reactant coal is our reactant so we have let er indicates that er will be the energy of reactant and we have ep will be the energy of product that means energy of co2 from reactant to product from reactant to product during the formation of product what happens 
large amount of energy is being released in that atmosphere or surrounding so initially we have some amount of energy er when the when our product gets formed the energy is being released so what is happening here the energy of product is decreasing that means energy of product is lesser than energy of reactant okay <coughs> so this is our in initial substance initial substance and this is our final substance final substance okay let me discuss about change in energy we have change in energy change in energy of the reaction equal to when we determine the change in energy we have formula ef minus ei final energy minus initial energy what is our final energy that means ep equal to ep minus initial energy will be er energy of reactant reactant since energy of product is lesser than energy of reactant that means we are subtracting the larger value from the lesser value so we will get here negative value negative uh, change in energy that means in case of exothermic reaction what we get we get the negative change in energy our change in energy value will be negative okay so one more important point that means after the chemical reaction energy is being released in the surrounding so what will happen in the surrounding temperature will rise that means uh, heat is coming out from the reaction into the uh, surrounding that's why surrounding temperature will rise that means temperature temperature will increase increase okay increase okay so we have another uh, topic of endothermic reaction okay so i here i have calcium carbonate cso3 okay when we heat this substance what happens the decomposition thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate takes place that means it's break up into calcium oxide and co2 what is happening here we are absorbing some amount of energy that means energy are re getting required in this chemical uh, reaction that means we have er will be the energy of reactant and ep will be the energy of product since from react from reactant side to product side reactants absorbing some energy uh, some amount of energy that means energy are being added in the energy of reactant that means we have product energy will be uh, rise will be increased that means ep will be greater than er okay so our change in energy change in energy will be our final energy minus initial energy so final energy will be our ep equal to ep energy of product minus energy initial energy will be er energy of reactant since ep is larger than or greater than er so we will have positive value that means in case of endothermic reaction we have change in energy will be positive value since energy is being absorbed in in this reaction uh, whenever there will be the absorption of energy or a chemical reaction takes place by the by absorbing some amount of energy we call that reaction to be endothermic thermic reaction okay so for endothermic reaction we have change in energy value will be positive okay here since energy is being absorbed from the surrounding to the uh, reaction that means energy is being added to the reaction and energy is being subtracted from the surrounding that means what will happen in surrounding temperature will decrease or temperature will fall temperature of surrounding will decrease decrease okay so what we had seen we had seen in case of exothermic reaction temperature will rise or temperature will increase but in case of endothermic reaction temperature will decrease okay so let's move to another point okay. another change we can observe it is in it is our um, formation of formation of gas or i can write here evolution of gas evolution of gas okay so let's take an example of uh, reaction between uh, metal plus uh, dilute sulfuric acid or dilute acid what we get metal salt and h2 gas h2 gas this arrow 
towards upward direction so as that the after the formation of gas gas is getting released into the atmosphere okay so he, we have we will take an example of metal will be the zinc granules zinc granules okay zinc granules is not a pure zinc that is we are taking the zinc with some impurities small pieces of zinc okay zinc granules contain some impurities like copper and this copper this copper uh, uh, material or copper substance particle of copper act or behave like a catalyst and it increases the rate of reaction in, in this reaction okay so he, here why we are taking zinc granules instead of pure zinc zinc granules we are taking because of the impurities present in that zinc granules that is copper it increases the rate of reaction that means it acts as a catalyst okay so it re is reacted with dilute h2so4 sulfuric acid what we get we get znso4 aqueous form here we have metal solid form and it is in aqueous form and with the formation of our metal salt zinc sulfate in aqueous state we are getting hydrogen gas formation and it is evolving out in the atmosphere that means so there are some chemical reactions which are characterized by the formation of gases that means when some chemical reaction occur we can also observe the formation of gas and since this is in our liquid or aqueous solution state and we have here this is a liquid state or solution state aqueous solution and again it is in aqueous solution state solution when we mix both of these solution what we get we get zinc sulfate here it is in aqueous form and in zinc sulfate aqueous form so for a q what we are getting we are getting the formation of hydrogen gas is taking place that means hydrogen gas is for forming inside this solution that means whenever there is a formation of gas in a liquid or a so aqueous solution it comes out in the form of bubbles that means here h2 h2 gas are in are coming from that solution in the form of bubbles bubbles that means gas bubbles okay this formation of gas bubbles in the liquid solution is called effervescence what we call it it called effervescence 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 what it is the it is the formation of of gas bubbles in a liquid or i can say solution okay so formation of gas bubbles in a liquid is called effervescence okay i can take another example here i have um, magnesium metal it reacts it reacts with dilute sulfuric acid h2so4 what it gives it gives us magnesium sulfate mgso4 again aqueous form in aqueous form and we will get here h2 gas again it is coming out from the liquid uh, solution forming gas bubbles it will be the effervescence okay okay so fifth change which we can observe that is the formation of insoluble substance okay i will write here insoluble solid substance solid substance okay for this term insoluble solid substance we use the word precipitate precipitate and for this word precipitate we will use in, uh, in short form we will write it ppt that means precipitate okay so when we have two reactants and both the reactants are in aqueous solution state what they do they exchange their ions okay i have here barium chloride bacl2 it is in aqueous solution form and it is reacted with sodium sulfate NO na2so4 again this one is also in aqueous state form what they do they exchange their ions sodium combines with cl2 cl minus ions and barium barium plus cation barium plus 2 cation combines with so4 minus minus anion and what they do after the exchange of ions we get barium sulfate uh, okay and we get sodium chloride this is in our solid substance and this is our aqueous solution state okay so let me balance this one uh, here i will multiply it by 2 okay so what we are observing that is, there is the change in exchange of ion is taking place so this is an example of double decomposition reaction double decomposition 
और आई कैन से डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट और डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन ओके मेंट रिएक्शन डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन ओके सो हियर वी हैव दिस वन इज इन सॉल्यूशन स्टेट ओके सॉल्यूशन एंड वी मिक्स इट विथ अनदर सॉल्यूशन सोडियम सल्फेट व्हाट वी गेट वी गेट अनदर सॉल्यूशन ओके सो इन दिस सॉल्यूशन वी हैव सोडियम क्लोराइड एन एस सी एल इन एक्वस स्टेट एक्वस एन एस सी एल एंड वाट वी गेट वी गेट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बेरियम सल्फेट एज सोलिड सब्सटांस वाट वी गेट वी गेट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बेरियम सल्फेट इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सोलिड सब्सटांस एंड इट गेट सेटल डाउन इन टू द डाउन लेयर ऑफ द बीकर दीज आर द बेरियम सल्फेट सोलिड सब्सटांसिस ऑफ बेरियम सल्फेट एंड दीज सोलिड सब्सटांसिस आर इन सोल्यूबल इन सोल्यूबल इन एक्वास एन एस सी एल और आई कैन से एक्वास सोल्यूशन दैट मीन्स हे वाट वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग यर वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग दैट इन दिस केमिकल रिएक्शन वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग दैट वी आर गेटिंग एज ए प्रोडक्ट वी आर गेटिंग सोलिड सब्सटांसेस विच आर अनडिजोल्व और विच आर इन सोल्यूबल इन ए पार्टिकुलर एक्वास सोल्यूशन एंड वाट वी कॉल दैट सब्सटांस वी कॉल दिस बेरियम सल्फेट हियर वी कॉल दिस इन सोल्यूबल सोलिड सब्सटांस टू बी पी पी टी एंड इट हैज द वाइट कलर दैट मीन्स वाट वी आर गेटिंग आफ्टर द रिएक्शन बिटवीन बेरियम क्लोराइड एंड सोडियम सल्फेट वी आर गेटिंग बेरियम सल्फेट वाइट पी पी टी ओके सो लेट्स टेक अनदर एग्जाम्पल ओके सो हियर आई हैव अगेन आई वुड लाइक टू टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बेरियम क्लोराइड बी एस सी एल टू इन एक्वस स्टेट ए क्यू इट कॉम्बाइंस और इट रिएक्ट्स विथ एच टू एस ओ फोर डायल्यूट सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड अगेन इन एक्वास फॉर्म ओके सो वाट हैपन्स दे एक्सचेंज देयर आयंस अगेन हेयर डबल डिकम्पोजिशन और डबल डिसप्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस हेयर एंड वी गेट बेरियम सल्फेट एज ए वाइट पी पी टी वाइट पी पी टी बी एस ओ फोर बेरियम सल्फेट एंड वाट वी गेट वी गेट एच सी एल फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड एच सी एल गैस और सॉरी एच सी एल इन एक्वास स्टेट ओके सो वी आर गेटिंग वाइट पी पी टी दैट मीन्स इन सोलिबल सोलिड सब्सटांस ऑफ बेरियम सल्फेट ओके सो आई विल हैव अनदर एग्जाम्पल लाइक ओके आई विल राइट दट्स एग्जाम्पल हियर हियर वी हैव ए जी एन ओ थ्री सिल्वर नाइट्रेट इट रिएक्ट्स विथ एन एस सी एल वाट वी गेट वी गेट ए जी सी एल एज ए वाइट पी पी टी ओके दिस दिस एरो टूवर्ड्स डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन इंडिकेट सो दिस एरो साइन इंडिकेट्स दैट दिस सब्सटांस और दिस प्रोडक्ट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इंसोलेबल सोलिड सब्सटांस एंड इट इज गेटिंग सेटल डाउन इन द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द बीकर एज सी एल इज फॉर्म्ड एज ए पी पी टी और प्रेसिपिटेड एंड वी आर गेटिंग एन ए एन ओ थ्री सोडियम नाइट्रेट ओके सो आई दिस इज इन वाइट कलर वाइट पी पी टी ए जी सी एल वी आर गेटिंग हियर ओके सो वी हैव अनदर एग्जाम्पल लाइक एफ ई एस ओ फोर फेरस सल्फेट इन एक्वास स्टेट रिएक्ट्स विथ एन ए ओ एच सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड अगेन एक्वास स्टेट वाट वी गेट वी गेट एफ ई ओ एच होल ट्वाइस फेरस हाइड्रोक्साइड एज ए ग्रीन डर्टी ग्रीन कलर डर्टी ग्रीन कलर एंड वाट वी गेट अनदर सब्सटांस आवर सोडियम सल्फेट एन ए टू एस ओ फोर ओके सो वाट वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग हियर वी विल मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई टू टू बैलेंस ओके ओके आवर रिएक्शन इज बैलेंस्ड ओके सो वी आर गेटिंग हियर दैट After the chemical reaction between ferrous sulfate and sodium hydroxide, we are getting the formation of iron hydroxide. It is in the form of PPT. That means this is, this arrow sign indicates that insoluble solid substance of ferrous hydroxide is getting formed in the chemical reaction. This arrow sign indicates that we are getting the dirty green PPT of ferrous hydroxide in that solution, and it is insoluble in that particular solution. Okay. So with these uh, things, I would like to say. Let me summarize this one. that uh, we can observe this type of this uh, 
have various types of changes we can observe in a particular chemical reaction and by observing these uh, changes in a chemical reaction we can identify a particular process that, that he, the, in that process the chemical reaction is taking place okay so i have here to identify a chemical reaction we, we can observe or we can specify this type of changes okay so in this video so with these things i end up the lecture okay so thank you